Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to look at uh, <clears throat> extending some surfaces and some of the ways that you can do this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is take this cap surface here and let's move it over to its own layer. On uh, this example, we're, we're working in version 24. So let's turn that off. Um, the next thing I want to do is this bottom layer. I'm just going to blank that one out. Um, from here, let's see, what I want to do, if we look at this, we can see there are different, um, there's different draft on these surfaces, okay? So let me make a new layer. We'll make this number one. We'll take these shapes here, and we're going to move them over to that layer, layer number one, okay? Then we'll create a new layer. This is, uh, well, I guess we'll give it a name, layer number two. And we'll take these surfaces here and we'll move them over to layer number two. All right, and then we'll create a new layer, layer number three. And finally, these surfaces will be moved over to layer number three. Okay, now from here, what I'm gonna do is, I mean, we have a tool called Surface Extend, okay? This is the tool that we're going to use. This is in 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Um, we're going to go to Surface Extend, and we'll click on an edge here, and what it's going to do is it's going to yell at us. It's going to tell us that we need to untrim the surface first, okay? Only edges on natural boundaries of surfaces can be extended, okay? So what I can do is I can do Surface Untrim, and I can untrim that surface. The problem is, is I get a very messy surface. Um, it's not really the, the easiest thing to do, especially when I'm dealing with a few of these across the board. So I'm going to go at this a different way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And this is going to be 3, 1. Okay, and the <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is extract the wireframe for this. So let's go to a different color. And we'll do utilities, extract edges single, and we'll say this one, this one, and this one, space bar, and then we'll turn this layer off, okay? So this gives me the wireframe. Now, what I'm going to do is delete these two lines here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is create a skin here. So the skin, again, uh, I'm going to create another layer. So this is 3, 2, okay? Uh, I'm going to use a different color. We'll go with like a light blue and we'll do surface skin. And I will zoom in here and select this line going in that direction and then shift left click. So I have that one. Now I'll go over to this one here and I'll select this line going in that, that direction. Okay, so we got those two. Now I'm going to uh, swivel back here, and I'm going to select this arc going to, so I'm going to hold down shift now and then select that arc, so we get those, and then I need to rotate back, and then I'm going to select this arc, and I'm going to select hold down shift and then select that arc. So those give me the four boundaries that I need for the surface. I'll go ahead and hit my space bar. And now I have my surface. Now, it turned out green. The reason why it turned out green is under preferences, setting part, uh, solids is set to green. So what I need to do is select it and then change it to the color that I want. And in this case, it's going to be this blue color. Okay. So why did I do that? Well, the main reason why I did that is now we have a natural surface and that will give me the ability to extend. When I go to surface and I go extend, I can give it a value and now you can see it's going to extend up. So I'll go ahead and undo that. But that gives me three, two. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and this will be two underscore one. And we'll turn two back on. And there's these surfaces here. I'm going to take uh, half the surfaces and just blank them out. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to extract my wireframe, so I'm going to do utilities, extract edges single, and I will pick on these surfaces, not because they were bad or anything, just because I need their wireframe. All right, we'll turn that off. We'll come in here and select 
our geometry, these lines, I need to get rid of them. We'll make this a new layer, two underscore two. We'll make it active. We'll go ahead and do our skin again. And we're going to repeat this process for the next few edges. Okay, now we have all of our surfaces created. So one, two, 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 and three, two can now come back up. If we go back to, let's see here, if we go to, let's say a right view. Uh, it's hard to tell that there's a gap in there, but there is a gap in there. So what we want to do is we want to extend these surfaces now. So we're going to do uh, surface extend and we're going to do uh, a value all the way around. All right. Looks good. Um, okay. So now let me, uh, let me turn off the thick lines here kind of help me see a little bit better and okay so the next thing that I want to do here is I want to take my top surface and right now you can see that the top surface is intersecting these other surfaces well it is to a degree not as much as I would like it to because I'm gonna add them all together and trim away what I don't want so I'm going to unstitch or I'm sorry untrim this surface and then I'm going to extend this surface around on all four sides. And then from here, I'm going to turn all my surfaces back on. Okay, now I'm going to start adding them. Solid add. Add this surface to that surface. Add this surface to that surface. Add this surface to that surface. And add this surface to that surface. Now when I do that it creates a cut line where the surfaces intersect so I can untrim my surfaces. It did say something dropped which is okay. It, some of the surfaces that I didn't want dropped. Uh, I can select this top edge now and what I can do is I can go around and select those surfaces that I don't want and that is where we're at here uh, we have now made a change to the thickness of that surface um, the last thing we can do is unblank um, that bottom surface there and now we've extended our surface and changed the thickness of this now this was done in version 24 um, doing it in a more current version you'd get more previews and a little more options that might make it a little bit easier uh, but generally um, with geometry like this uh, to extend surfaces that have uh, different tapers uh, methodology very similar to this would be used in the current version. So hopefully you guys were able to get some good information out of this. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Yeah.